Hello everyone, my name's Cameron, otherwise known as Kalimba Cam, and this is a short tutorial on how to play the kalimba. In this tutorial, I will be covering how to tune your kalimba, technique you should use when playing the kalimba, and some practice scales you can use to familiarise yourself with playing the kalimba. So firstly, tuning your kalimba. For this you're going to need your kalimba, a tuning hammer, uh, these usually come with your kalimba, but if uh, you haven't got one, then they're usually very cheap online to buy. And finally, some sort of tuning uh, device. For me personally, I find it easiest just to use a tuning app on my phone. A lot of you in the last video asked what was the app I used. This app is called DA Tuner, and you can find it on the Google Play Store. So firstly, you need to find what notes you need to retune. So, I'm going to use the tuning app and as you can see there's a little bar on the bottom and a note displayed up here which shows you what note is currently um, tuned on that key and how far off key it is. So C, that's good enough. D, yeah good enough. E, yep. Yeah. F. Alright, so F is very much out of key as you can see it says that it's essentially tuned to an E. So we need to retune that so it's actually an F note. So to do this, you need to use the tuning hammer. So if you want to lower the pitch on the kalimba, you need to hit down on the tines as such, like this. And if you want to raise the pitch on a note, you need to hit up on the tine as such, like this. Alright, so, because it's the F is tuned to an E, we need to higher the pitch, so we're going to hit up on the note. Okay, let's check how that is. Alright, so we got it to an F, but it's still very flat, so we need to go a bit more. Alright, let's check it again. Yep, that's pretty much good enough. Alright, so as you would have gathered, because the G is uh, too sharp, we need to hit down on the time. Let's check. Alright, so we've got it back down from a G sharp to a G, but it is still a bit too sharp. Let's just quickly do a bit more retuning and fix that. Okay, so I finished tuning off camera, so let's check. Yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so now that we know how to tune the kalimba, which is very important, we can now learn the proper technique on how to play the tines. So, some people like to just use the skin of their thumbs, which is fine if you'd like. I noticed some people in my last video uh, preferred to use the skin on their thumbs. Uh, but the method I suggest, and the method that I use, is to actually use your fingernails if you have them. So, using the end of your fingernails, just pick at the notes. It may be a bit uncomfortable at first if you're used to using the skin in your thumbs, but uh, the problem with the skin on your thumbs is that they can get quite... For me, they don't, because I'm a guitarist and I've played this for quite a while now, so the skin on my thumbs are like leather pads. But, uh, if you don't like the skin in your thumbs getting hurt, then it is definitely uh, a good decision to use your fingernails as this will prevent that from happening. And finally, if you really feel like it, you can get these, uh, these uh, thumb picks, which just slide on your thumb like this, and you can use them to play the notes on your kalimba. I personally have never used thumb picks because I find them very uncomfortable, but it's really up to your personal preference. Alright, and finally, uh, we've got some scales to help you familiarise yourself with the kalimba. So, the most uh, common scale that I like to use, and that I used a lot when I first started playing, is just your normal C major scale. So, as you may already know, the notes on a kalimba, uh, a 17 key kalimba like mine, alternate from right to left. So, C, and then on your left is a higher note, which is D, then back to right, which is E, F, G, so on. And to play the C major scale, you just alternate all the way up to the C, uh, that is an octave above the low C. So, like this. 
So the scale practice that I want you to do is just to very slowly pick like that up to the C and then pick back down to the C like this. So let's try it together. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Alright, and one last time, a bit faster. And back down. Alright, so that was my tutorial uh, on the basics of how to play the kalimba. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos as such, please subscribe to my channel. And I've got plenty of tutorials already on my channel if you want to check them out. And plenty of other videos of other styles. Also, this kalimba that I have used in this video is a new lamb 17 key gold kalimba. And I will leave a link down below in the description for you guys to buy it. Uh, so yes, thank you for watching, share this video with anyone who may find it useful, and I will see you in the next video.